Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Friday again. Oh my gosh, what happened to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? <laughs> I remember Sunday afternoon saying, oh Jerry, tomorrow's Monday. And I woke up this morning and I said, is this Friday? <laughs> oh my, my life is just so exhilarating and exciting. I can't keep track of the days. We'll just say that, okay? <laughs> oh, let me have a sip of my coconut mocha. Did you know Terry bought this and she doesn't even like it? She's going to give me her coconut mocha. Hey, Terry's mom has the COVID. Yes. And she thinks her mom got it from her grandma. Her grandma's like 94, 95, something like that. And she thinks her grandma had it first. But they don't know that for sure. But she was real sick for a couple weeks. But now her mom has it and she's in the hospital. So my Christian friends, will you say a prayer? Her name... I think her name's Catherine. I call her Mama. And I think her name is Catherine, and she's Terry's mom. Okay? Yeah, she's in the hospital, and she has pneumonia. So, I wanted to show you my birthday material came. A dear friend of mine gave me a gift card, of course, for buying fabric. And I bought a kind that I haven't bought before. Y'all know um, Viv Mom. Um, Viv Mom sews. It's on a break right now, but she's coming back. I promise you she's coming back. She's still dealing with that toothache. Hey, say a prayer for her too, will you? That the doctors will know what to do about that toothache she's been suffering. It's been weeks and weeks. Bless her heart. Anyway, you know how she loves fabric. <laughs> uh, and she's always talking about Shally. I've never bought Shally. Number one, I never knew how to pronounce it. It's C-H-A-L-L-I-S. And, and I used to think, well, what is that chalice? When what kind of fabric chalice is? <laughs> but anyway, she's always loved Shally. And so I got this card for my birthday, this gift card. And I thought, you know, since it was a gift, I'd let myself spend a little more money. I'm usually such a major tightwad when it comes to buying fabric. So it costs a little more. But I allowed myself to have it since I had this birthday money. So you want to see it? It came. I did my usual thing. I threw it in the washer. I threw it in the dryer. And I threw it on my bed. And I brought it up here. <laughs> it is beautiful. I love the feel of it. I was afraid that it might be real saggy. And it might be that kind of material that you have to let hang before you can put the hem in it. But it doesn't feel like that at all. Maybe because I washed it. Let me show it to you. Can you guys see my ring? You can see my ring, can't you? It just dawned on my lightning fast mind. You can see my ring. <laughs> my camera doesn't fit in the ring, so I put my camera behind the ring. Let me try to fix it so you can't see the ring. Let's see. Let's get a little closer. Closer. Hey, how about that? That's better. I'm sorry. I'm new with the ring, you know. All right, let me show you my gorgeous material. It's right here. This is a navy blue with little flowers. Let me move my coffee off of my shelf and put it on my cup holder. This is navy blue, dark, dark navy blue. Oh, it just feels like regular cotton material to me. Oh, it's just yummy. Yummy. I can't wait to cut it out. It's no stretch. No stretch. None whatsoever, but it's real drapey anyway. I'm making dresses. You know, someday I hope to really go in person to our church, Cornerstone, down there in San Antonio. And if I ever do, I'm going to have two pretty dresses I can wear. This one, and I already have the pattern picked out. And let me show you the other one. I think I like it even better. Could you please hold still, Joy? Yeah. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Who was that? Muhammad Ali. What does that have to do with fabric? Do you love the way my brain works? <laughs> All right, here's the other one, and this one's beautiful. Beautiful. This one's black with some flowers. I'm not sure which way. I think the flowers can go either way. I think they can go like this. I could certainly make a blouse. But I'm not going to. I bought three yards of each of these so I can make a pretty dress. Maybe one that's um, 
that midi length or maxi length. Isn't this pretty? Let me see. Oh, it is. I haven't even seen it on myself yet, you guys. <laughs> so, this is one of my birthday presents. And it took it, it probably took it, goodness, this is September. It took it several weeks to get here. But it did. There's something else I want to tell you. Let me get my coffee back over here where I can reach it. Judy Kessinger sent me just out of the blue. Now, I'm not her employee. I'm not her anything. Just sort of a friend after I did her, um, her sew along for her Fit Nice System blouse top pattern. She just has one pattern. One pattern. A lot of you followed me through it. A whole bunch of you made blouses. Well, just out of the blue the other day, she said, oh, here's a code for 20% off my patterns. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I said, what do you mean? What am I supposed to do with it? She said, well, it's, it's up now. It's active now. Just tell your people they can use this code. So if you were interested, but you didn't get the pattern yet, if you're not interested, just forget all this. But if you are, she gave me the code J-O-Y, J-O-Y, Joy Joy. That's what my friend Philly calls me, you know, Joy Joy. Hi, Philly. <laughs> you miss Philly. Hello. I miss Philly. <laughs> We're too far apart now. We're like three, three and a half hours apart from each other now. So she can't just, you know, drive down the road to my house in Edmond like she used to. That was about an hour and a half drive. So anyway, so J-O-Y, J-O-Y. She gave it to me in all caps. So try all caps in the discount code box, and it's for 20% off of the pattern. She only has two. One's for pants and one's for the top. Now, you don't just get an envelope where you open up a pattern. You get her great big sheet that you draw the pattern from, but then you get all of these extra documents that come with it. You get like a video and a PDF thing, and lots of stuff comes with it, okay? So that's why it's a little more than if you were buying it from... You know, $1.99 at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> oh, I just love my coffee and it's such a nice day. You know I'm in such a good mood. It was dark and rainy. Like all day, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Just dark and rainy and stormy. And I think that's why I missed the first three days of this week, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I, I don't do good when it's dark and stormy and rainy. However, I did make you guys a whole bunch of clips. The last dark, stormy days that we did have, I was up here sewing the SureFit Designs top together. And I did uh, put up the camera, and I showed you up close, in case you're new, and you haven't sewn a lot, like most of you are very good seamstresses, sewist, whatever they want to call us now. I like seamstress myself. I don't like that word sewist. And um, I like the word sewer, except that it looks like sewer. Do we need a different name? How about construction artist or fabric construction artist? Oh, I like that. <laughs> Might be my new title. Anyway, I showed you, if you're new, because there's no directions on SureFit Designs on how to sew the pattern together. So I showed you from beginning to end exactly how I sewed it together, how I did the crimping in the sleeves, how I did the buttons in the buttonholes, how I sold the sleeves in, the whole thing. So, that isn't up yet. That'll be up in a couple days, maybe tomorrow, but it just depends on how the day goes. So, I wanted to tell you that, that it's not gonna be, there's four parts to that SureFit design so long. This isn't gonna be part five, although it is part five, but I'm just gonna say how to, how to sew the SureFit blouse or something. You guys will notice it when it comes up, okay? All right, I'm gonna let you go i got to wrap up my new birthday fabric. Y'all have a super fabulous weekend. If I don't see you before, well, well that's a dumb thing to say. <laughs> Y'all have a fabulous weekend. Bye for now.